Welcome to the Dell EMC Unity XT Crew Removal and Replacement Series. In this series of short videos, we're going to use Unisphere and UEM CLI commands to identify faulted custom replaceable units on a Dell EMC Unity XT storage system. We'll then look at the ways to prepare the system for service, including service mode and reset and hold modes. We'll demonstrate the removal and replacement of the faulted crew and finally verify the replacement crew is working correctly. One of the first things you want to do is to log on to the storage system using the Unisphere interface. This requires that you have initialized the system and provided an IP address in your browser and once you do that you're going to be brought to the page that you see here. You're going to have to have a username along with a password that combination was uh, also set up during the initialization process and once you provide those correct credentials we'll be able to log in and view the dashboard page. We start by verifying that we have a fault and indeed we do it's uh, orange and I'm going to go ahead and click on that icon and you can see that it calls out a uh, disk array enclosure on bus 1 enclosure 0 power supply uh, B0. So uh, I could have clicked on that to expose that, but I want to see if the uh, alerts and the logs call out the same true. You want to be consistent and uh, make sure everything is consistent and time-wise as well uh, for the error that you got. So in this case, uh, once I examine that, I can go ahead and click on the blue text and it brings me to the enclosure page for that array enclosure. And I can see in fact B0 uh, from the rear of the chassis is faulted and it tells me as much if I click on that. So I'm pretty sure that the uh, power supply is uh, is faulted. I can verify again the same t uh, time and the same uh, call out uh, by looking at the logs. And then uh, finally with the UEM CLI I can go ahead and see that I have a failure on that supply. It's DAE10 uh, power supply B0 and you can do that with the ENV PS show. So you can go ahead and unplug the AC power. You're going to uh, undo the cap the screw with the screwdriver with the hand and pull the board straight out, the power supply straight out. Uh, you should have the replacement already handy. Uh, that should be the case in all your uh, crew replacements. And once you uh, locate that, you're going to go ahead and uh, line it up. You're going to push it in and have a, a bit of a resistance, but uh, never force it in. Tighten down the captive screw. Cable your uh, AC power back to the um, power supply. And finally, verify through Unisphere that you indeed uh, have no issues. You can see everything looks good here for the disk array enclosure. The part that we uh, was faulted is shown as green and everything looks healthy. And then finally verify with the ENV PS show command that you have a health status of OK. It's, it's a number 5 and everything looks good. So that is the removal and replacement of a power supply on a disk array 15 drive enclosure. 